Hi everyone, a warm welcome. In the last video, we studied Cauchy's integral formula and how to apply it in problems. In this video, I am going to introduce Cauchy's integral formula for derivative and few examples. Let me start it from Cauchy's integral formula. We are all familiar with the Cauchy's integral formula and it is integral over c f z by z minus z0 d z equal to 2 pi i f of z0. Here remember z0 is a point within c and c is a simple closed curve. See in this uh, Cauchy's integral formula you must remember that uh, you must notice that the term in the denominator z minus z0 is with power 1. You can apply this only if its power is 1. Assume its power is 2. Then integral is integral over c f z by z minus z0 the whole square d z. And it is given by 2 pi i f dash z0. f dash z0 is f dash z at z equal to z0. Remember z0 is a point. Next, suppose its power is 3. Then integral is integral over c f z by z minus z0 raised to 3 d z and it is 2 pi i by 2 factorial f2 dash z0. Similarly, we have integral over c f z by z minus z0 raised to 4 d z is 2 pi i by 3 factorial f3 dash z0. If we generalize this result, we can see integral over c f z by z minus z0 raised to n plus 1 d z is 2 pi i by n factorial fn at z0 and this is known as the uh, Cauchy's integral formula for derivative and clearly it is a generalization of Cauchy's integral formula. So Cauchy's integral formula for derivative is also known as generalization of Cauchy's integral formula. So the statement of Cauchy's integral formula for derivative is if f z is analytic within and on a simple closed curve c and z0 is a point within c then integral over c f z by z minus z0 raised to n plus 1 d z is 2 pi i by n factorial f n z0. f n z0 means n the derivative of f at z0. Next, let me evaluate a few complex integrals by using Cauchy's integral formula for derivative. So, you consider the integral, integral over c e raised to minus 2 z by z plus 1 the whole cube d z, where c is mod z plus 1 equal to 1. Here c is a circle with a center minus 1 and radius 1. Here the given function is e raised to minus 2 z by z plus 1 the whole cube. Clearly minus 1 is its singular point. Next you check whether the singular point lies inside or outside of the given circle. Clearly center of the circle is minus 1 so the point minus 1 lies inside of C. See this question is suitable for applying Cauchy's integral formula for derivative. See here we have to choose suitable is that not n and deficit. Z0 is really the singular point which lies within C. So we can choose Z0 as minus 1. Here the power of Z plus 1 is 3. So we have to choose n as 2. If Z is e raised to minus 2 Z. We know Cauchy's integral formula for derivative is integral over C. If Z by Z minus Z0 raised to n plus 1 d Z equal to 2 pi i by n factorial fn Z0. See in this equation you replace n and f, is that not in the right side. So the right side becomes 2 pi i by 2 factorial f2 dash minus 1. We have f z equal to e raised to minus 2 z. So you find its second derivative and put z equal to minus 1. So f dash z is minus 2 e raised to minus 2 z. f2 dash z is 4 e raised to minus 2 z. Next evaluate f2 dash at minus 1. For that you put z equal to minus 1 here. So the answer is 4 e square. Next you replace f2 dash minus 1 in the Cauchy's integral formula. So we have 2 pi i into 4 e square by 2. 
that is 4 pi i e square. Next, in the left side, you replace f z, z naught and n. We will get the question integral over c e raised to minus 2 z by z plus 1 the whole cube dz is 4 pi i e square. Next, evaluate integral over c sin 2 z by z raised to 4 dz, where c is more z minus i equal to half. Clearly, c is a circle with a center i and radius half. Next, to consider the given function which is sin 2 z by z raised to 4. Clearly, 0 is the only singular point of the given function and it lies inside of c. And the singular part of this function is 1 by z raised to 4. Its power is 4. And the singular point is also within c. So, we can apply Cauchy's integral formula for derivative. For evaluating this integral. So, for applying this uh, result, we have to choose suitable z0, n, f, z. Here, we have to choose z0 equal to 0, n equal to 3 and f, z equal to sin 2, z. We have Cauchy's integral formula is integral over c, f, z by z minus z0 raised to n plus 1 d, z equal to 2 pi i by n factorial f, n, z0. You replace is set not n in this equation. So we have 2 pi i by 3 factorial f3 dash of 0. Next we have to evaluate f3 dash of 0. We have f z equal to sin 2 z. f dash z is 2 cos 2 z. f2 dash z is minus 4 sin 2 z. f3 dash z is minus 8 cos 2 z. Next we can find f3 dash at 0. For that you put z equal to 0. You can see cos 0 is 1. So f3 dash 0 is minus 8. You replace f3 dash 0 in the Cauchy's integral formula for derivative. And you can see it is 2 pi i by 6 into minus 8. So it is minus 8 i pi by 3. In the left side, if you replace f z, z not and n, we can see the integral reduces to the given question and the answer of the given integral is minus 8 i pi by 3. Next evaluate integral over c z square divided by z minus 1 the whole square into z minus 2 dz. Where c is mod z minus 1 equal to 2. See this integral is different from the previous two integrals. Because the given here the given function has two singular points which are 1 and 2. You check whether it lies inside or outside of the given circle. See our circle is a circle with a center 1 and radius half. Center is 1. So clearly the singular point 1 lies inside of C. Next you have to check whether 2 lies inside or outside. Clearly it lies outside of C. Here we have two singular points but one singular point is within C and the other one is outside of C. See here if we have to concentrate only on the singular point which lies within C. The inside singular point is 1. So we have to keep Z0 as 1. Next you consider the singular part corresponding to 1 which is 1 by Z minus 1 the whole square. Its power is 2. If it is greater than 1, we have to apply Cauchy's integral formula for derivative. So, you can answer this question by applying Cauchy's integral formula for derivative. So, for applying this result, we have to choose suitable Z0 n uh, and f z. Here, we have to choose Z0 as 1 and n equal to 1. See, our Cauchy's integral formula is integral over C f z by z minus z0 raised to n plus 1. The part 1 by z minus z0 raised to n plus 1 is here. 1 by z minus 1 the whole square. So, we have to choose all other part of the given function as f z. So, the suitable f z is z square by z minus 2. Next, we have... Cauchy's integral formula for derivative integral over c f z by z minus z0 raised to n plus 1 d z equal to 2 pi i by n factorial f n z0. Here you replace n and z0. So we have 2 pi i by 1 factorial f dash 1. Next we have to evaluate f dash 1. Here f z is z square by z minus 2. So we have to find its first derivative. Since it is a quotient you apply quotient rule and then put z equal to 1 and we will get f dash 1 is minus 3. 
you replace f dash 1 in Cauchy's integral formula for derivative and you can see it is 2 pi i into minus 3 that is minus 6 pi i. Uh, if you replace f is z is z naught and then in the left side we can see it reduces to the given question and the answer of the given question is minus 6 pi i. Next evaluate integral over c sin square z by z minus pi by 6 the whole cube d z where c is mod z equal to 1 that is the unit circle. Here the given function is sin square z by z minus pi by 6 the whole cube. Clearly its singular point is pi by 6. Next you check whether it inside or outside of C. See here you consider pi as 22 by 7 that is 3.14. Then pi by 6 is less than 1. So the singular point pi by 6 lies within C. If it is lies outside of C, then no singular point of the given function lies within C. So by Cauchy's theorem, answer is 0. Here the singular point pi by 6 lies within C. And the singular part 1 by z minus pi by 6 is with the power n. So we have to apply uh, Cauchy's integral formula for derivative for evaluating this integral. While applying this result, we have to choose suitable z0 and fz. Here you have to choose z0 as pi by 6, n as 2, fz as sin square z. By Cauchy's integral formula for derivative, integral over c, fz by z minus z0 raised to n plus 1 dz is 2 pi i fn z0 by n factorial. You put n equal to 2 and z0 equal to pi by 6. So it is 2 pi i by 2 factorial into f2 dash pi by 6. Next we have to evaluate f2 dash pi by 6. That is you find second derivative of fz and then put z equal to pi by 6. We have fz equal to sin square z. f dash z is see it is in the form x raised to n. Its derivative is nx raised to n minus 1. So its derivative is 2 sin z into derivative sin z which is cos z. So the derivative is 2 sin z cos z. Next you find its derivative. You can proceed in two ways. Uh, one method is by applying product rule you can find its second derivative. On the other way we know 2 sin z cos z is sin 2 z. If you replace 2 sin z cos z by sin 2 z then you can easily differentiate without using product rule. So f dash z is sin 2 z. Its derivative is 2 cos 2 z. Next you put z equal to pi by 6. So we have f2 dash pi by 6 is 2 cos pi by 3. We know cos pi by 3 is half. So the answer is 2 into half which is 1. So you replace f2 dash pi by 6 by 1. So the answer is 2 pi i by 2 that is i pi. That is integral over c sin square z by z minus pi by 6 the whole cube d z is i pi. Next evaluate integral over c 5 z plus 1 by z square plus 2 z minus 3 d z where c is mod z minus 2 equal to 2. Here the given curve is a circle with the center 2 and radius 2. Next you consider the given function and identify its singular points. Here the denominator is z square plus 2 z minus 3. For getting the singular point, you equate the denominator equal to 0 and solve that equation. So you can see uh, the singular points are minus 1 and 3. Next you check whether it inside or outside of C. Clearly 3 lies within C and minus 1 is outside of C. See in this question. Uh, the function has two singular points. One singular point lies inside of C and the other one lies outside of C. We have to focus only on those singular points which lies within C in Cauchy's theorem, in Cauchy's integral formula and in Cauchy's integral formula for derivative. And again in the next module, we also consider those singular points which lies within C for applying residue theorem. So here, uh, there is only one singular point. 
tree which lies within C. See, the given function can be written as 5z plus 1 divided by z plus 1 into z minus 3. Clearly, the singular points are minus 1 and 3 and the singular part of z minus 3 is 1 by z minus 3 with the power 1. If it is power 1, you have to apply Cauchy's integral formula. If it is, if its power is greater than 1, we have to apply Cauchy's integral formula for derivative with the suitable n. Really, Cauchy's integral formula is a particular case of Cauchy's integral formula for derivative with n equal to 0. Here you apply Cauchy's integral formula. So, we have integral over c f z by z minus z naught d z is 2 pi i f of z naught. So, you have to choose suitable f z and z naught. Clearly, z naught is the inside singular point. So, z naught is 3. Next, we have to choose the suitable f z. So, the, uh, you choose the function f z as those part of the given function except 1 by z minus 3. 1 by z minus 3 is the singular part of the singular point which lies within C. So, you consider those part of the function which is uh, free from 1 by z minus 3. So, f z is the suitable f z is 5z plus 1 by z plus 1. By Cauchy's integral formula, we have integral over c f z by z minus z naught d z equal to 2 pi i f of z naught. You replace z naught by 3, so we have 2 pi i f of 3. But f3 is 4, so answer is 8 pi i. Next, evaluate integral over c e raised to z by z plus 1 the whole square into z plus 2 d z where c is mod z equal to 3. Here consider the given function e raised to z by z plus 1 the whole square into z plus 2. Clearly its singular points are minus 1 and minus 2. Here the circle is a circle with radius 3 and center origin. So clearly minus 1 and minus 2 are within c. See here both the singular points are within c. See, this question is entirely different from all other previous questions. Always you keep in your mind, when more than one singular point lie within the curve, once again, you please listen, more than one singular point. So, if more than one singular point lie within the circle, first you put into partial fraction. Here we have to give the partial fraction for the singular part which is 1 by z plus 1 the whole square into z plus 2. Its partial fraction is a by z plus 1 plus b by z plus 1 the whole square plus c by z plus 2. Next for getting the values of a, b, c you take LCM and put different suitable values for z. Here you can give z equal to minus 1 and z equal to minus 2. When z equal to minus 1, we will get b equal to 1. When z equal to minus 2, we will get c equal to 1. Next, we can find uh, the value of a by equating constant term on both sides or equating coefficient of z on both sides or equating coefficient of z square on both sides. Here, let me take uh, coefficient of z square on both sides. See in the left side, there is no z square term, so coefficient of left side is 0. In the right side, in the first term, coefficient of z square is a. In the second term, there is no coefficient, there is no term containing z square. In the third term, there is one term with the z square and its coefficient is c. So we have 0 equal to a plus c, that is a equal to minus c, but c is 1, so we have a equal to minus 1. So, we get the values of a, b, c. So, you replace in the partial fraction. So, we have 1 by z plus 1 the whole square into z plus 2 is equal to minus 1 by z plus 1 plus 1 by z plus 1 the whole square plus 1 by z plus 2. Next, for evaluating the given integral, so you, you multiply e raised to z on both sides and taking integral over c. So, we have integral over c e raised to z by z plus 1 the whole square into z plus 2 d z is integral over c e raised to minus e raised to z by z plus 1 d z plus integral over c 
e raised to z by z plus 1 the whole square plus integral over c e raised to z by z plus 2 dz. Now the given integral reduces to sum of three integrals. Let the integrals be i1, i2, i3. So the right side can be replaced by capital I1 plus capital I2 plus capital I3. Next you evaluate each integral i1, i2, i3 separately by using suitable uh, results for complex integration. Next evaluation of i1. So the integral i1 is integral over c e raised to minus e raised to z by z plus 1 dz. Here the singular point is minus 1 which is uh, inside of c and you can evaluate this by using Cauchy's integral formula. So you have to choose z0 as minus 1 and fz is minus e raised to z. So the integral i1 is 2 pi i f of z0 by Cauchy's integral formula. You replace z0 by minus 1. So we have 2 pi i f of minus 1. Here fz is minus e raised to z. So f of minus 1 is e raised to minus, minus e raised to minus 1. So you replace, you can see the answer is minus 2 pi i e raised to minus 1. Next is evaluation of i2. We have i2 is integral over c e raised to z by z plus 1 the whole square dz. You have to evaluate with a suitable result of integration. Here the singular point is minus 1. Clearly it lies inside of c. And the corresponding singular part is 1 by z plus 1 the whole square. Since its power is 2, we have to apply Cauchy's integral formula for derivative. For applying Cauchy's integral formula for derivative, we have to choose suitable z0, fz and n. Here you have to choose z0 as minus 1, n1, fz is e raised to z. Then by Cauchy's integral formula for derivative, we can see i2 is 2 pi i by n factorial f dash z0. You replace z0 and n in this equation, we get 2 pi i f dash minus 1. We have fz is e raised to z. So f dash z is e raised to z. So f dash minus 1 is e raised to minus 1. You replace f dash minus 1 by e raised to minus 1. And we will get i2 is 2 pi i e raised to minus 1. Next is evaluation of i3. We have i3 is integral over c e raised to z by z plus 2 dz. Here singular point is minus 2 which lies inside of c. Here you can evaluate i3 by using Cauchy's integral formula by choosing z0 equal to minus 2 and fz equal to e raised to z. So by Cauchy's integral formula we have i3 is 2 pi i f of z0. You replace z0 by minus 2. We have 2 pi i f of minus 2. We have f z is e raised to z. So f of minus 2 is e raised to minus 2. So i3 is 2 pi i e raised to minus 2. Now we got the values of i1, i2 and i3. You put in equation number 1. We have integral over c e raised to z by z plus 1 the whole square z plus 2 dz is minus 2 pi i e raised to minus 1 plus 2 pi i e raised to minus 1 plus 2 pi i e raised here 2 pi i e raised to minus 1 cancel each other and finally the answer is 2 pi i e raised to minus 2 so the answer of the given integral is 2 pi i e raised to minus 2 see in this question uh, the function has two singular points both are inside of c so whenever more than one singular point lies within c you start with the partial fraction that is if uh, two singular points or three singular points or four singular points which lies within C, you start with a partial fraction. Let me solve one more question. You evaluate integral over C, e raised to z by z minus 1 the whole raised to 5 dz. Where the closed curve C is given in the figure. Here you consider the given function, e raised to z by z minus 1 the whole raised to 5. Clearly, its singular point is 1. Next, you check whether the singular point lies inside or outside of C. Here, the singular point is 1. That is the point ordered pair 1, 0 in the two-dimensional plane. Here, clearly, the curve C. On the real axis, it extends from minus 5 to 5. 
so clearly the singular point 1 lies within c next you consider the singular part of the given function and it is 1 by z minus 1 raised to 5 and its power is 5 so we have to apply Cauchy's integral formula for derivative so we have to choose suitable z0 fz and n here you have to choose z0 as 1 n equal to 4 fz is e raised to z we have by Cauchy's integral formula for derivative integral over c fz by z minus z0 raised to n plus 1 d z is 2 pi i by n factorial fn at z0 here you replace n z0 that is 2 pi i by 4 factorial f4 of e raised to z here the function is e raised to z see its derivative is always e raised to z so its fourth derivative is e raised to z so f4 at 1 is e you replace we have 2 pi i by 4 factorial into e after simplification it is i pi e by 12 that is answer of the given integral is i pi e by 12 thank you for watching